Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. This entire year, what I've decided to do is I want to have each painting and the color selection come from something that I've picked up from outside, inside the house. You know, it's easy to walk over, or it's not always easy, I guess, to walk over to your shelf and just start picking colors. So what I thought I would do is I would assist myself in choosing colors by picking something that I see that stands out to me. So today's uh, paint color choices is inspired by my husband. Uh, David works out quite a bit every single day when he can. He does CrossFit and he actually hurt his back uh, about a week ago and he's finally getting better, but we have been spraying his back off with uh, Icy Hot. And so I was kind of looking at the can and I thought, look at these colors. They're really pretty. It just, you know, it's just colors that you see on the color wheel. So I thought what I would do is I would incorporate the colors from the Icy Hot can to this painting. So today I'm going to be doing a flip cup and drag along the canvas. And I'm hoping to leave some negative space. Um, I always have uh, leaving negative space in mind when I make a painting but it just doesn't always work out because the way it gets tilted. So fingers crossed we can get some negative space out of this. So let's get down on the canvas and let's start painting. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So what I've got today is a little 14 by 18 gallery wrap canvas. Um, I don't use this size canvas that often. I went to my local Michaels and they had them on sale for $10 a piece. That's just a touch above what they would cost in a pro pack but I don't even see these in the pro pack anymore. So I'm not sure why they were on sale, but nonetheless, I bought 15 of them because that's how many they had on their clearance shelf. <laughs> All right, so in accordance to that picture, the Icy Hot bottle, um, again, like I said, I'm taking my inspirations from what stands out to me when I see colors and that color selection on that bottle really was great. So let's real quick go through these colors. I've got the Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. My pouring medium is Liquitex Gloss Medium, Floetrol, a little bit of water. And as I said in the past, when you add Floetrol to paint, it will lighten it up, dull it up a little bit. So I also had to add back in more paint. So what I started with was one ounce of Liquitex Gloss Medium, one ounce of paint. Actually, probably what it equates to be about is about two and a half ounces of paint and then um, about five ounces of Floetrol. And so then if I didn't like the color, then I added a little bit more paint to bring it back to what it needs to be. And this paint is making a mound on top of a mound and seeking right back in itself. All right, next is the Goldens in the Payne's Gray. Love, love color. I am next using the Soft Body Artist Loft in the white. Not using uh, titanium from Amsterdam today. Uh, this is the Azo Orange Amsterdam. This is the Arteza in the Lemon Yellow. And the last color is the Primary Cyan by Amsterdam. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm going to do a flip cup with a drag, and then I'm probably gonna take my palette knife and bring some wreckage into the painting. So let's get to filling up the cup. Now I'm gonna do my best. I'm only gonna need about 10 ounces of paint. So I've got a 16 ounce cup. I'm gonna do my best and try to keep the layers nice and separated so I don't end up with too much green. All right, so I'm gonna throw in some of the lighter blue here. Go in there with that Payne's Gray. Generous helping of white. Orange. A 
yellow. Now here I'm gonna do a pretty good amount of white here. So I can separate the blue from the yellow. It's gonna get a little green in there. So I have way more paint in this cup than I'm gonna need for this pour, but I wanna have enough paint and not have to worry about where I'm tilting. Okay, now I've got some of my white. I'm gonna flood the canvas. Okay. Also everyone, I know there's been a lot of concern lately. In the last few of my pours, I put more paint on the canvas, tilted it off. A lot of comments I'm getting that I'm wasting a lot of paint. Please know I don't waste any paint. I scrape the paint off of the plastic. I put it into one of these little tubs and I strain it and I reuse it either in a painting or I use it as flow extender. So please know I'm not wasting paint. People have really been commenting. They're really concerned that I'm doing a lot of waste and it's really not. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a flip. I'm gonna do it right here. Move it along here. Nice coloring. All right, much of the weight of the paint is right here in the center. I would actually like to maybe keep some negative space, but we'll see how this tilts. All right, let's go.
what I'm doing is I'm just moving some of the paint around to create some lines here, pushing it back, bring it forward, stretching it out. Keeping it very simple, stretched out, negative space. I'm really, really playing with abstract painting. I like getting the colors. I like getting the cells. Um, you know, some paintings you like a lot of cells. Some paintings you don't necessarily want a lot of cells. But there's no silicone in this. People have asked what it is about getting cells without using silicone. And it has nothing to do with silicone. It's all about paint density. Your paints are thinner. They're going to mix and churn together and you're really gonna get some wonderful effects from it. Man, this is beautiful, gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna scrape my edges, make sure I've got plenty of white on the sides for the negative space. All right, here we are with the wet result. This is really great. I love the composition. I love the directional lines. Got a lot of cells and that's due to the thinness of the paint. And again, the churning of the paint when I move the cup through the paints that mixes those colors. What I really love uh, so much about this is, you notice how I separated the blues and the yellow from with white? so I wouldn't get green and it absolutely worked perfectly. There is no uh, uh, green that's really defined in this piece. It's really all pretty much the colors that I used. The white kept it separated. There's a couple of little spots and I'll show you. Got a little bit of green right there in the center there, but it's so faint in seeing it there. I love the Payne's gray with the orange cells right there. Moving through here, there's really not a lot of green there, which is fantastic. See a little bit of green through here, but it's not overbearing. This might be my favorite corner down here. Look at the Payne's gray just beneath all the other colors, just beautiful. All right, guys, I can't wait for this to dry. I will be right back. All right, here is the dried result. It's still a little tacky, so I'm gonna do this dried result really quick. Bring you in here, but it's drying just fantastic. that's going to do it for today's video. This is still a little tacky, so I'm not going to be able to hold it up very long, but it's drying beautiful. I really love the colors. You see the Payne's gray undertone through there. You really see the wave movement through here. I just love the direction that the paint is flowing in. Got a lot of cells. It just it's drying really well, so I will definitely put a coat of gloss varnish on this. Thank you for watching. I hope you're liking the uh, direction my channel is going with choosing an, an object for my color choices. 
uh, you know, we get inspiration from different places. So I really, really like this idea of finding something out in the open and drawing those colors into my painting. So having a lot of fun with that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, by the way, this is a new shirt, my Captain America shirt that I got from Mina. Thank you so much, Mina, for my Christmas present. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and let's head over to Nate Bright Art. He is up next. See you next time. Bye-bye.